All right, this time we're going to add another object to this. So we're going to make a new layer and go in here and go create shape from layer and I'll create a hat. Okay. All right, so this hat uh, can be moved, rotated, and scaled. Okay, and what I'll do is rotate the object just a little bit. Just like that, and I'll move it up a little bit. And another way I can do it is I can move it via this. Okay, so I can move it here, I can rotate it here, and I can scale it here if I wanted to. So that's just another way to move, rotate, and scale using the locator. The thing is, I want to put the hat on the ball. How do I do that? Well, first off, I get a little bit sized up. And since these exist on two separate layers, they can never touch. What I have to do is hold shift and highlight the next layer, and then go 3D, merge 3D layers. Now, what I can do is double click here, and I have two different things. I have a sphere and a hat. Well, the best way to do this, I found, is send them both to zero in space. To do that, all I do is click home, and this one, I click home. That sends both of them to zero, which means the hat is probably inside the sphere. Okay. Let's take the camera and zoom out. Okay, so I do that by going to 3D zoom and zoom out. And I can also go in here to the rotate camera feature. That means I'm just rotating the camera, not the object. Then I'm going to take the object and go into uh, the pan. So here's the sphere. I'm in the pan tool. If I go like this, what happens? Nothing. Okay. What I have to do is find the hat in the scene. And to find the hat, it could be all the way out to the middle of nowhere, in the case this is the fact. So I have to bring it back to zero. Even though I brought it back to home, that doesn't mean somebody, whoever made the hat, was smart enough to create a new home for it. So what I usually do is go like this until I find the hat and there's the hat, <laughs> okay? So I can move this around using the move mesh tool and I can scale it. So I'm going to mesh scale it. And I'm going to scale it the size of the ball. And be careful with this because what's really happening here is if I rotate around, I can see the ball and the hat are the right size. But pretend this was way further out, I wouldn't know that. So now I can use the 3D Mesh Pan tool and pan it over and stack it on top. Again, sometimes it's easier to grab it via this. So keep that in mind because the one thing I find very annoying about 3D in Photoshop is the fact that I'm always switching between these tools. Uh, there is no tool that catches all. Okay, so there we go. We have now successfully put the hat on the ball. I know it's a small feat, but it's uh, one of those ones that, <laughs> trust me, uh, when you first try to do it, it's not so small. It looks good in the video, but good luck uh, placing a hat on top of the ball the, for the first time. All right, move on to the next video where I can share some more information about 3D.